I'm Lisa Zaslow, an organization expert for extra space storage and founder of GothamOrganizers.com. My mission is to make getting organized easy, fast, and even fun. With this tip, I'm going to teach you a simple three-step process that you can use to organize anything, whether it be a closet, a garage, a filing cabinet, anything. We're going to use an example here. It's the contents of a typical kitchen junk drawer. So, our three-step process. Step one, clear out clutter. Clutter is anything that you don't need, that you don't use, or perhaps also things that are just in the wrong spot. So, clutter here. We've got an old Chinese takeout menu. Don't need it. Old shopping list. Clutter. Random piece of string. Yeah, maybe it could be useful, but let's call it clutter. Golf pencil. Too tiny to really be useful. Clutter. Step two, group similar things together. This is going to make it easy for you to see what you've actually got. So what do we have here? Hmm. Tape, glue. These are similar. Different type of glue and glue stick. All things that you can use to fasten. Twist ties, also for fastening. One random twist tie, clutter. What else? The little buttons, the extra buttons that you save. Those are useful. We'll put them together with safety pins. Oop, some more random clutter. Spatula, that belongs in another drawer, so we'll set that aside. Also, random chopstick. Clutter. Birthday candles. These could be useful if you could find them, so we'll group them together. And step three is to contain your items. Again, makes it easy to quickly find what you need happen to have this little jar that's going to be a perfect container for our birthday candles. It's even got a top so they don't get lost in the drawer. A cardboard box can even be a useful container. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. This is a great size for our sewing items. Contained. 99 cent store, great source for bins and containers to keep you organized. This is a nice top size for all of our fastening items. Ta-da! Three steps and you're organized. I hope you found this useful. Feel free to comment below and you can also check out the Extra Space Facebook page if you have any questions for me.